This is the state of Washington versus Adam Ruben Abelson. Ten months after tragedy for Eileen Taylor. My days are painted with horrible sadness. She joined this courtroom to find out the fate of Adam Abelson, the man who caused the crash that killed her daughter, Amanda Schneider. A police investigation found on a November day, Abelson traveling at highway speeds collided with a Metro bus that hit and killed Amanda, who was on the sidewalk. Multiple cameras captured the chaos. 11 of the 14 bus passengers were hurt. Abelson was arrested. Tests found he was under the influence. The fentanyl cocaine metabolite in his blood system at the time of driving. The only true way you can take accountability for that is to not put yourself in that position again. No other mother should have to sit here and mourn the loss of her only beautiful daughter. Her uh, presence in my life was immeasurable. Now there's a hole that can't be filled. Both parents addressed the court, and so did Abelson's attorney, who recounted his client's past. He watched both his mother and his father die in front of him from overdose. He says Abelson was regularly abusing drugs. I take full responsibility for all of the harm and the hurt and the pain that I've caused. After all the testimony, this decision. The court will be departing from the party's recommended sentence. Instead of the 13 years recommended in the plea deal, the judge gave Abelson a 15 year sentence for the crash that claimed Amanda's life. And 15 years is close to the top of the sentencing range for this defendant. That's because criminal history was a factor here. Joyce? And Natalie, what stands out about that criminal history? Well, prosecutors say over the years he had over 50 warrants out for his arrest. Joyce? Wow. Natalie Swaby in Seattle. Thank you.